Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at GLPC inside Visual Studio 2022. We will look at downloading and installing the necessary components to get us started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So GLPC, which is Google Remote Procedure Calls, it's an architectural service pattern which helps developers build and consume distributed services in the same style as invoking in-process object methods. So, the goal of GRPC is to make distributed applications and services more manageable for both the clients and server implementations through a predefined set of interfaces, which we're going to look at in a moment. Yeah. So to be able to get started with like um, the, the, the project template inside of Visual Studio 2022, this is what you need to download. So as you can see on the screen, I've actually got Visual Studio installer open. So in this case, we are using the Visual Studio 2022 community or the current version as of this video. So if you've got the installer opened, you click on the modify. So here, as you can see, I've got this box checked, which means I've already downloaded and installed it. So if you haven't, so you have to check on this box and then you click here, it will be modified here so that or download, it will be downloaded and installed automatically. So this is actually ASP.NET um, ASP and web development. This helps you build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET html javascript and containers including dockers uh, including docker supports yeah so if you've got this bit sorted out then we can close this bit and then launch the visual studio so here we can click on the create a new project so as you can see here now i've already created a new one i've, I've created one before so with Visual Studio, obviously, you can select whatever you've recently, whatever project that you've recently created just to save you time from searching it from here. Oh, as you can see, I've selected um, C Sharp here. So here we can put it as a um, web. So if we do that, uh, we scroll down a bit. So this is what we have here now. Um, ASP.NET Core. Um, GRPC service yeah so we can we can click on this yeah and get I mean start with this so this is a project template for creating a GRPC ASP.NET call service yeah so once we click on it then we can click on the next so here you can uh, configure your project details yeah but we're not going to look too much into that yeah you like you can change the project name and whatnot yeah so we click on the next. So here you can obviously choose whatever version of .NET that you want to use. In this case, we're going to use it. We're going to use a 6.0, and also you can enable a Docker if you want to, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. So we can click on the create. So it should take some moment to create. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing creates. So as you can see here now, we've got the ASP.NET Core GRPC service created for us now. So we look inside what we've actually got here now. So first of all, we're just going to click on the, um, this, open this folder, Protos here. So as you can see here, we've got this file, grit.proto. So this is actually, this actually works as the interface if you're coming from the WCF environment. So this actually de defines the services to be implemented. Yep. So this, uh, these services can be implemented on both the client and then the server side. So we're just gonna look at it, that in a moment. So here, this is how you actually define the service, yeah? by using the service keyword and then the preface or the name, the given name of your service. In this case, it's a greater service, yeah? So as you can see on top here, 
the the syntax is a uh, proto free yeah then we've got this um option that's a c sharp this is just um the assembly stuff yeah then the package as a grid here so the service so here this is the rpc say hello this is a service say hello that takes in the hello request here yeah, and then returns a hello reply so we look at the hello request here so the hello request is just a it's just a string name here so it's only just returning a string and then the reply is also doing the same but in, in this case it's actually name it's message instead of a name but it's still the same yeah so we also look at the services folder so this is the greater services so if you look at it here so this like the implementation of this interface that we've actually looked at yeah just going to open it now Yeah, so I'm just gonna make the the fonts a bit bigger. Okay, yeah. So, so basically, this is the the greeter services which inherits from the greeter services. So it's just the base, yeah. It's in, inheriting from the greeter base. So anytime you actually run it for the first time, so this actually interface created this greeter I mean, greeter class. That inherits from the greater base, yeah. So here, obviously, you can set, you can set your define your log, your logger, and then this, this is um obviously the the constructor for the greater service, and then here we create this override method, yeah. That that is the say hello. So if that if we look at the service method here, say hello, that takes in. The hello request yeah and then the hello reply so in this case it's, it's as a server call contest we look at that later on so here it takes this service incoming yeah service so it's as the reply if we look at it here the request so here we actually returned we actually returned a um the hello reply so here we set the message to hello we add this hello and then we, we just return the incoming name or message or whatever yeah so this is just about it but obviously we on the next video i'm going to create a client which will actually consume this um this service but i'm going to run it before i end the video yeah so we, we F5 or click on this bit here. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the gRPC service started now. So it's actually waiting or li like listening for a client to to make a request, right? So I'm just going to leave it here now. So on the next video, we look at building a client to interact with this service, right? So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.